Hey, Gwen here with the GC Realty Group at Intero Burlingame. Whether you're considering selling or buying, you have to check out Foster City Real Estate Market for single family homes. In the past 12 months, the median sales price increased from $1,900,000 to $2,340,000 in November. And the average sales price per square foot went up from $760 to $1,055 per square foot. There's been a slight decrease in the number of listings available on the market this month with only four new listings compared to seven from last year. In November, single family market in Foster City sold a total of eight homes, which is actually down from 10 homes the month before. This shows that inventory is low and the buyer demand continues to be strong. The median sales price decreased by 1% from $2,375,000 in October to $2,340,000 in November. This is a mix of larger homes selling on the top end and overall values increasing due to the low inventory. The median number of days a property spent on the market rose to 16 days from 7 in October, indicating that we still have a very healthy market. With low inventory, there are less options and the motivated buyers are very quick to make an offer. Sellers in Foster City received an average of 101% of their asking price in November, slightly lower than 110% just the month before. Despite the rates at around 7.5%, the continued demand and fewer homes coming onto the market is causing our home prices to slightly increase. Sellers with specific needs like needing more space, relocating out of the area, or perhaps some life event are the main drivers for most of the sellers. Owners with low mortgage rates at around 2-3% to are finding themselves waiting for a better time to sell or simply renting out their home for the time being. A client of mine recently had to move to the East Coast due to a job relocation. He bought his home in 2018 with, and his rates are below 3%. Although he never had any intention to become a landlord, he decided that renting out his home was the best financial decision. He was able to keep a real estate asset here in the Bay Area and simply rent in the East Coast for the time being. Due to the low mortgage rate, he's paying down his loan faster and he continues to benefit from the asset appreciation. Situations like this, I sit down and go over all the pros and cons with my clients so my clients are able to make an educated decision. If you are trying to decide if selling is the right choice for you, give me a call and I can help you make the best financial decision. Fact of the matter, we are still feeling the pains of inflation. I recently finished the remodel and the building materials alone was at least 30% more than it was six months ago. Everything across the board is costing more from food, gas, energy, and housing, which eventually brings up the costs for construction. Although the job market might have slowed down due to, to the season, the Bay Area continues to attract talent and skilled workforce from around the world. Even with the higher rates today, there are still plenty of buyers for the right home. If you are thinking of selling and relocating out of the Bay Area, you have some tough decisions to make. Thoughtful planning is ideal to secure a comfortable next step in your housing journey. Reach out to get your questions answered. We are in a marketplace that requires strategy, some patience, and knowledge if you are a seller. Affordability is affected buyers in the marketplace. If you are a home buyer, it's important to work with a broker that understands the complexity of the market and your unique needs to help you with one of your most important purchases of your life. So, if you're a would-be home seller or home buyer entering the market, we would love the opportunity to earn your business. Reach out through the contacts below and let's connect.